I want to pop by with some tips on something that seems really simple at first, but a surprising number of people really struggle with it. And that is simply holding the lace in their hand. So a lot of people will do this little number. They'll hold it on their wrist and then they'll wrap it nice and tight around their hand. Now one strong jerk and the dog's going to pull you like a kite. They're going to crush your bones <laughs> and any number of dangerous things could happen physically. Uh, it also restricts your ability to release the leash quickly in case of emergency. Uh, that's not, not a good thing to have, so always be prepared. What I do instead is hold it in the palm of my hand, nice and tight. The dog pulls, you're not going away. And then I simply gather as much as I need to using my thumb. So I always have the exact amount and I can release it the exact length I need to, but still have that nice strong grip. Some people do this instead, over the thumb. Same principle, they use their finger to kind of pinch it and get that exact length that they need. When your dog's walking, you're not gonna need them to be at the end of their six foot leash. They shouldn't be, in fact. So make sure that you always have the exact amount that you need so that if your dog goes out of position, if they're trained to heal, you'll feel that tug, you'll know they're out of position and you can address them, get them back in there. And when you're walking with your trained dog, they should never have the full allowance of all six feet of their leash to go and explore the world. When you're walking in a structured heel, they should be right next to you. You should be able to feel exactly where they are without actually looking. To do that, I have that nice grip I showed you, holding my hand or on my thumb, gentle, hey Bo, gentle loops all the way down until it's right where I can feel if the dog is out of position. So you can see I'm pretty much all the way down to the leather of the tab on slip lead. We don't need this much. If I have this much leash, I can't feel my dog if they go out of position. So right here is actually the correct length of leash for walking this particular dog. Now smaller dogs, you'll give them a little bit more leeway because they'll be lower. If you're very tall, of course. <laughs> but for most people, this is about what you're gonna be looking at. So if I say heel, he's right with me and I can feel if he's out of position pretty easily using that grip I showed you. Good boy! Way to go! Now if I'm like this with my dog, if I do that old wrist and then wrap it around my hand, I can't really feel or communicate with my dog as well. Try it with your own dog. Uh, do this grip and then do the other one and you'll see a difference. Can't really feel where he is. And if there was an emergency and he suddenly took off after a squirrel, I'd be dragged with him, my hand would be broken, and I couldn't let it go easily. See, I'm trying to let it go here. With this grip, or this grip, and the gentle loops, I can simply release and keep myself safe. And of course, my dog has a stellar recall, so I'm not worried about him going after any squirrels, right? Break! We hope these tips helped you with your leash walking with your dog, no matter how experienced they are. Good boy.